an eye-catching, beautiful flowers at the border of Gobi Desert, with miles of golden sand dunes and origins of ancient history Gobi Oasis. This land is main attraction of Mongolian tourism and inevitable part of domestic and foreign tourist travel vlogs. Wonderful natural formation of Gobi area and its abundant resources have been praised for centuries and passed on from one generation to another. Glorious formations created by nature have become main travel destination of Omungov province as if they are standing here to satisfy tourist expectations to see nine wonders of Gobi. Let us travel to Nine Wonders of Gobi Desert, which has been selected from ecosystem and natural wonders in this wonderful land. Painzak, the Flaming Cliffs. Painzak, the Flaming Cliffs. It's a historical place which put Mongolian Gobi name on world map. However, Bayunzak is more than just bed of ancient dinosaur eggs. Millions of years ago, when most ancient dinosaur that lived on earth for 200 million years was hatching eggs and running around searching for food, in Bayanzak, birthplace of ancient dinosaurs and plants, Western Europe was in a deep sleep under the ocean. This fact puts Bayanzak and the Mongolian Gobi on the list of the most ancient landmass on Earth. In the 1920s, Velociraptor's egg fossil in which embryos can be seen with naked eyes was found by the American archaeologists, which became a starting discovery in world science that proved dinosaurs hatched egg. Even today, important archaeological discoveries are being made here. Painzag is on the route of ancient tea road that started from Beijing, China, and went through Hukhot, southern region of Mongolian Gobi, after resting at Hurdut Cave, Bayambolag area in Hamburg Tsum, continued on to western border of Bayanzak, Mongolian ancient capital, Harhorom, remote areas of Ulyasta and Hoft, and reached western Europe through Turkmenistan and Kashgar. A wing of world first land route, tea and silk road, that connected Asia and Europe still stands tall as a witness to long history of humankind on Earth. In order to preserve this historical and scientific site, Omungov province named Bainzag area as one of nine wonders of the province. Hermenzau Red sanded canyon from Cretaceous era washed by millions of years of sun, wind and heavy rain stretches deep and long in the deep desert of Umungov province. Grown in only damp area among those high and sleep canyons, plants native to Gobi Desert such as Saksaul and registered in Mongolian red list of plants, desert poplar tree, tamarics and shrubs form small oases that embellishes the area. Birds native to Gobi Desert, Saksaul sparrow, largest rodent of Mongolia, Gobi jerboa, and one of the largest reptiles of Mongolia, Mongolian rock Egema, are representatives of the few animals that lived in this area. 
Out of ancient plants and animals remnants have been found in this basin of Hermensau, we can name world-renowned findings of dinosaur fossils such as Tarbosaurus, Saurolophus and Dinocerius. At the end of Hermensau there is a sand figure that looks like Sphinx of ancient Egypt, which was noted in the explanation of Sergei Bolkov, Russian scholar. Small oases among thousands of miles of desert, Zolganai and Narndats are only life source around this area. Despite of scarce plant species, largest desert popular tree forest of Omungov province lies here. Representations of Gobi desert plants, Limonium aureum, flower of tamarix tree, and desert broom rape, known as white jewel, grows here as an ornament to Gobi golden soil. Hermintsau in mid and late autumn is breathtaking with golden leaves of desert poplar trees, multicolored tamarix forest, saxaul and shrubs. You can find peace here far away from noisy, busy and stressful life of the city. As a place which preserved its original formation and remainings of ancient animals, Hermintsau is without a doubt one of the nine wonders of Umungov province. Porvon Saham Mountains Eastbound of one of the largest mountain ranges of Mongolia, Gobi Altai Mountains, Gobi Gorvan Saham Mountains are considered to be a wonderful place with unique natural formation and different biological forms. Not only stunning formations and wildlife in the valley of Gorvan Saham Mountains appeal tourists from all over the world, but also globally and regionally endangered biological species living in this area have been main attraction of the international biologists and tourists of special interests. Zunsaha Mountain in particular is a great place to see not only for endangered animals such as snow leopard, the manuls, beech martins, steppe polecat, wild goat, wild sheep, lynx, grey wolf, corsac and foxes, but also to go bird watching for every kind of migratory birds that pass through Mongolian territory in summer. At Yodlingam Canyon, main attractions of bird watchers, wall creeper, Altai snowcock, circa falcon, and the pride of Umungov province, birded vulture, nest here. Canyons of Yodliam were great hunting birds such as birded vulture, black vulture, Himalayan vulture, golden eagles, and common and lesser kestrels. Nest is a place to see hunting birds from close distance. In Gorvansaha mountains, endangered species of mammals such as Mongolian and Daurian picus, two species of gerbils, Alaskan ground squirrel, long-tailed world hamster, Royals Mountain Wall, Gobi Suslik, which are registered in Mongolian National Red List, live here. Large herds of Mongolian gazelle and black-tailed gazelle, which have been growing in number in recent years, can be seen grazing through sandy valleys channels of Orvonsaka Mountains. Hongering Hills, with its beautiful natural formation and as a birthplace of Bactrian camels, one of the largest sand dunes of Mongolia, Hongring Hills Dunes, became one of the main tourist attractions in Mongolia. As a large oasis of Gobi, Hongring Hills region is main place where migratory birds rest 
in springs and autumns. Hungering Hills hosts some of must-see birds of bird watches, such as Saxaul Sparrow, Pallas, Sand Grus, and Mongolian Ground Jay, and Hobara Bustard, which are registered in the Mongolian National Red List. Every September, you can see large flocks of common and demoiselle crane that spend the summer in Mongolia near Adag Lake and Tot Manghang or singing dunes, resting on their way to Himalaya mountains and lingering around their birthplace. Singing dunes and Sirumbulung oasis near Hongringils have already become main tourist destination. But western regions such as Sanjin Hathar, Barunzun Surgul, Hongrin Teg, Hung Norin Shal, Almsin Dawan, Tailin Tsunghuk, Wadar Tsanj, Tal Gashun, Old Gashun are more suitable for camel treks and hiking and are few places that preserved its original nature. Desert Broom Rape, Songaria Sinomarium, and Licorious Root, registered in Mongolian National Red List of Plants, and large species of Samolchtola villosa, which has been used by locals as herbs, grow here. Hongrail's territory includes Sivre Mountain, Sivre Cave Paintings, Salkhting Wale and Ganjur Danjurin Cliffs. Sivre Zulung Bainbor Mountain Ranges near Hongrails are home of snow leopards. Albingo one of 33 Mongolian great gobies, Kalpingov is a vast desert in the middle of Central Asian desert and in the eastern region of Alshan desert. Ilm trees, most common and largest trees that is native to Mongolia province, are grown in large numbers in Kalpingov and stretches south to Chinese border. In this vast Gobi, burned by scorching sun and wind for millions of years, live several species of small desert mammals, one of the largest species of Gobi, Gobi Holang herd, and most common species black-tailed gazelles, Hobara bustards, and other species of birds registered in Mongolian red lids of endangered species can be seen in great numbers in the vast valleys and steppes of Ondang River and Thousand Ilm Valley. As an important part of Central Asian Great Desert and main region of Alashan Desert, Kalbingov is protected as one of nine wonders of Umungov province. Noimbogut. Noimbogut is one of Gobi hill range that stretches from west to east in vertical line. There are scholars who believe Noimbogut, Sivri, Nimicht, Gilbind, and Tost Mountains in west region of Umungov province are part of Gobi Tianshan or Chinese Sky Mountain range. This mountain formation is continuation of one of the Mongolian large mountain ranges, Gobi Altai mountain range, and compared to Ilk and Bach Bogut, Artsbogut, Gorvansakham mountains stretching from northwest to southeast, it has unique formations stretching vertically from west to east. Peaks of Noying mountains are not the high with the highest peak, Noying Bogut mountain being elevated at 2,397 meters above sea level, 
However, it is hard to climb with all rock slide and steep pinnacles. Valley of Neuenburg is quite wide and few elm trees grew in a valley and looked like stunning from mountain halbos. In Karvile Pontanini Batalin, registered in Mongolian red list of plants growing in Neuenburg mountain, is one of the most beautiful and largest flowers in the area. This hill ranges of Gobi Desert provides pleasant environment for wild goats and sheep. Wild goat herd, relatively large in number, is the main prey for snow leopard which is on the top of food chain of Gobi Desert wild animals. Large mountains and its valleys such as Hurung, Hanin Hits and San Sairin Valley became one of the largest regions for snow leopard study since beginning of 1990s. Tsukhunding prayer in front of Noimbog is a real desert featuring Mongolian desert characteristics. Wild horses ran across the prayer in large herds few years ago, now became rare. There are many cave paintings in Neumburg mountain indicating humans have been living here since ancient times. Because of unique formation and beautiful natural sceneries of Neumburg mountains, such as Haninghets, Korwang Tushmut, and many others, Neuenbogut Mountain has been named as one of nine wonders of Omunrov province. Azgu Ulang Tsao, largest canyon of northeastern region of Omunrov province, this canyon stretches through Mandalawa and Soktawa Soms and preserved remainings of ancient animals and plants, especially fossil eggs of dinosaurs in full shape. Sandy soil of Algo Lansau, hot weather of Gobi and damp environment in ancient mountains were pleasant ground for ancient dinosaur eggs and embryos to grow. Vertile soil formed a lower places in Algo Lansau due to constant rainfall of million years was rumored to be used by subordinates of Khan, one of the Mongolian great hans, to plant vegetables and bonsai plants in particular. Even though there are few springs and water sources in this area, there are traces of ancient rivers and elm trees grew in the valley. Mountains region consists of mostly small gobi hills and rocky cliffs, which are, is perfect home for wild sheep. So you can see several herds of wild sheep in this area. Sangin Dalai Temple Sangindaland Temple was built in a Tal Hutni Valley in Nomgonsom, Omungov province in 1707. Monks started living here in, from 1708. In 1772, her temple and gate of Inkamagdang was built and temple was named Rashchanghar Damptarjagin. Since 1835, temple was expanded with Dunghrin Temple, Halun Temple, Judin Temple, Temple of Spirit, and Gurging Temple, and started Taipo Lithography. Different Buddhist schools such as Mamba and Jude were established at the temple. From 2003 to 2007, renovation work on the temple building was made.
Dumchigin Temple is located in 11 kilometers from Hamburgsum, Umungov Province. Dumchigin Temple was established by Fifth Noyung Hotak, the Lama of the Gobi Danzarabja, as his religious school. Noyung Hotak visited the region in 1830 at the age of 27 and said, This place is not for me to pass by but to spend some part of my life. Because he saw so that the place was full of earth power rather than human power, and if a human can pay their respect, it can save some people during natural disaster and end of the world. That's why Noyung Hodok spent more than 20 years of his life here and built three bonded temples such as Dimchkin Temple, Iritin Temple, Tsagang Tolgang Temple. Satellite image shows wind swirls at 30 kilometers around Dimchkin Temple, which is believed to be beneficial for human aura. Therefore, Dimchkin Temple is named an energy center. Nine Sivri Artisanship Silver ornament artisanship and design of silver bowl of Sivriyasom Omungov province, previously known as Baltan Jaskin Khosho, is a famous artisanship with 100 years of history. Sivriyasom is homeland of many generations of craftsmen who are best known for their Noyin Sivri design of silver ornaments. This famous Khalkha artisanship is kept throughout many generations up till today. 1938 server registered Munk Pagam, Balchir Cholong, Yondun Cholong, Tansen Dalgar, Konchik Maksar, and Badrch Malam as craftsmen, arranging with nickname of Nutin, Tansen Mietak, Chimiturch Nawang, Sugar Sonam Sharo. Erdne Sonam Sharo and Toj Adyar as renowned silver craftsmen. There are two types of silver bowl, so called Dairgang and Noin Sivri design. Dairgang design has fretwork ornament and is thinner. Noin Sivri design silver bowl is made with thread casting method. Main characteristic is this kind of silver bowls are thick with more silver. It is famous for its long wear and handmade with traditional method. Large silver bowl of Noin Sivri design uses from 32 to 35 tails. Medium sized bowls uses from 17 to 20 tails and small silver bowls use from 8 to 10 tails of silver. Legend says Mongolians have been using silver bowl since Hung dynasty area. Silver has been known for its ability to destroy bacteria and for its disinfecting quality. That's why Mongolians still cover their bowls in silver. Inside and bottom of Noin Sivri design silver bowls are covered in thick silver molded in parallel inlaid pattern and decorated in covered bed pattern. It is a unique art piece that cannot be created more than once, hence is considered highly valuable. There are few natural formations in the world that preserved historical heritages and original shape. The beauty of nature is becoming more appealing to the world rather than technological development of humankind. Let us protect beautiful nature of our South Gobi, gifted by Mother Nature for our next generation. Wonders of our motherland, Mongolia, cannot cease to amuse us.